You have to begin to speak to those unseen forces and say, devil, you can't have them. I command that you loose them and set them free in Jesus' name. Amen. See, there's something to be said when you walk in your authority. Many years ago, I had a motorcycle, and I shared this with my church. I had a motorcycle, pearl white motorcycle, best bike ever. E-B-E-R, Ebba. I was like, I, I was, it was smooth. It was my Yamaha, man. And I would ride that thing, and it was bad. And I remember one day, it was a cold day, and I rode it, and it do, 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 went out on me at the end of the road. So I took the motorcycle, and I rode it into the gas station right there. And I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with it. Went into the manager, said, well, would you look at it uh, and look over it while I have to go to work? I got to walk up to here to work, but could you, can I leave it here? Oh, sure, not a problem. After work, I come down to get my motorcycle, and it's gone. I run inside and go, hey, what happened to the motorcycle? It's like, I don't know. I, it was out there a little while ago. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Not my pearl white motorcycle. Oh my gosh, what do I do? And in my flesh, I started thinking, man, if I find that thief. <laughs> you know when someone takes something that you really want it? They take that last piece of ham right there after, after Christmas dinner. And I'm saying, oh, what can I do? And the Spirit of God within me that raised Jesus from the dead, that gave all power and authority to me, spoke to me and said, commanded to come back. And I remember thinking, okay, well, who am I going to be talking to? The thief? Because he can't hear me because he ain't here. But there is something in the unseen world that drove that thief to steal my stuff. Oh, I got him now. I stood at the corner of Monroe Street in Tallahassee, Florida, cars driving by, room, room, and I'm standing there going, devil! You know I was looking funny. Devil! You made the man steal my motorcycle. Then you make the man bring it back. In Jesus' name. <laughs> now people think, boy, that boy crazy. I remember that night I went to Bible study at my church. And uh, they always thought I was crazy. <laughs> they really did. And uh, I came to Bible study. And uh, I'm like sitting there, and I, and, I, and I said, they said, well, how come I didn't see you on your motorcycle? Oh, man, someone stole it earlier today. They, they took it. And all of them are standing around, my pastor and all the leaders. Oh, oh, that's so bad. Man, I'm so sorry. Who wants to hear that? You say you got a bad doctor's report. Oh, I'm so sorry. You better pray for me. You better open your mouth and use your authority. The same that raised Jesus from the dead. I don't need your sympathy. I need the Holy Ghost. <laughs> we take the easy way out. Well, if I pray and it don't work, I don't want to feel guilty. It ain't your power to begin with. Right? So I go, and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, Steve. Oh, I am feel so, oh, man, I'm so sorry. And I said, sorry for what? I said, Psh, I, I told the devil he need to bring it back. He made the man take it. He makes the man bring it back. <laughs> now, you knew they thought I was crazy then. <laughs> and I remember my pastor looking at me going, he said, boy, you crazy. He says, if the devil leave, let him go. You don't want him to come back. 
And you know, in that moment when you know what's right, you just, I just held my, yes, sir, held my peace. Because I knew what I was doing. Now, in his world, he lost his bike. <laughs> I went home that night. And, you know, sometimes when you're worrying about something, the way you get your mind off of it, you go back into the Word and you study the Word that tells you what God can do. You read stories that boost your faith to let you know, man, you don't have to give up or give in. And so I'm reading the Bible. I'm having a good old time. Woo! Look at Jesus walking on the water. Woo! Lo look at the loaves and fishes. Woo! Blinded eye can see. And I'm just encouraging myself in the word. And I hear, ding dong. Who could that be? <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock at night. Now I'm about to get robbed or I'm about to get blessed. So I, I opened the door. I said, hello? And there's this guy in complete Islamic wear. The hat, the cloak, the everything. And he's doing this. He says, I'm sorry, man. You know, I don't mean to bother you so late, but uh, I've been out here for hours. He says, do you know anybody around here that's lost a motorcycle? And I said, huh. I lost a motorcycle. He said, is it white? Poor white? I said, yeah. I said, I've been praying about you. And he goes, I know, man. I can't sleep. I can't eat. Man, I done brought it on the back of my truck. I put air in the tires. I filled it with gas. I don't want it no more. Come get it. What? What? That man was so shook. He's like, I don't know what's wrong. There's something wrong with me. Oh, and it was somebody who don't even believe in Jesus. Don't tell me God can't do it. When you know your authority, you will command things in the unseen world, and the unseen world has to bow down. 